Hey guys, the subject of jet ski hours always comes up on the forums and people are always looking for that low hour ski when they're looking for a second hand one. But uh, you know, the funny thing is that it's actually the skis that are well used are the ones that actually last. Today I was speaking with Patrick O'Keefe from Shoreline Yamaha and he's seen this problem where skis that actually have low hours can have a lot of deterioration and he's going to explain why that is and also show a little accessory that he's made to get around this problem and to help you keep your engine lasting far longer. Over the years with these machines standing around or the, the, the machines that are worse off than the machines that are used on a regular basis and it's, it's always that same old story of moisture finding its way up through the exhaust Whatever exhaust valves are open, the moisture somehow finds its way into the uh, cylinder chambers and then even finds its way if the intake valves are open and finds its way to the throttle body. And that's generally a more extreme situation. But certainly we can get motors that will come in for servicing, which we do a lot here day in and day out. And uh, we can find uh, that you'll have low compression and it's that low compression is initiated from moisture coming up through whatever exhaust valves are left over, over time left open. Uh, the moisture settling on those valves or cylinder rings and with that moisture it creates a, a rust form which will clear off with running of the engine but that will essentially do damage and if you do that four or five times over a period of a year it's taking life out the engine. So by eliminating that issue of the moisture buildup with causes that rust film uh, with this little device which we've uh, developed and uh, it's real simple, simple to use and one would use it after your flushing and cleaning procedure. It installs onto the engine. Uh, this little brass fitting would then fit to the intake manifold which is directly above the intake uh, throttle valve and then this will be installed to the side of the engine block. Very easy and conveniently mounted and then we have a, a fogging oil which I'll, I'll show and recommend which one to use that you would use to lubricate the internal workings of the engine and in that way it's going to give the machine far longer running hours over a longer period of time. Okay so here we've got the the Yamaha product, which is a, which is a Yamaha uh, Yamalu product, it's uh, essentially the engine fogging oil. Um, Sea-Doo do a very similar product, um, all the major brands would do this. And this is the, the good mooty that you'll put inside uh, the engine to preserve the internal workings of the engine. And uh, it literally is a two, three minute procedure that will save you a lot of money long term, especially if you're keeping the machine for years to come. Simple procedure, remove the Yamaha engine cover. Very simple. We've got, a, we've got the temperature sensor, which is down here. Here's your, your temperature sensor that goes into the manifold. And into this little banjo fitting the sensor would go and be mounted in. And then from there we'll mount this little manifold banjo system into the intake manifold. Have you done these before? Uh, yeah, I've done a couple of them, but I've never marketed it. And um, I just feel it really is something that for a, a true jet ski enthusiast, they would truly appreciate it. to come up here we're going to cut that to length so we'll just get a side cutter trim that down so that's going to get that to the perfect length but then we have the removable uh, tethered cap which is removed push it off to the one side so that exposes the tube all the way down to the intake manifold once you've done your complete cleaning flushing 
drying procedure, you're going to then add your fogging oil. And the idea of this is not to do it if you know you're going to ride the next day or the next weekend. It's more those longer standing intervals, three to four weeks and longer that you're going to add this. And this is what's going to safeguard the internal workings of the engine. So, so important. People don't realize the importance of this for the longevity of the engine. You'll get far more running years out of the machine. So, simple. We're going to start the engine. Take this, give it a little shake. it so wonderful guys as you see very straightforward very easy to uh, fit and install uh, very important procedure when you know the craft is going to be going to storage or sitting in the, in the yard or the garage for a long period of time and uh, these little kits we make up and certainly have them available with shoreline yamaha.com.au and then we certainly do it for the sea -Dews. and that's for uh, from shoreline sea -Dew com.au as well. Thanks, Paul, and uh, keep keep the good fishing and going and tight lines. <laughs>